For at TV, the world is thinking. Let me just name an alternate energy technology. You tell me what's happening in the valley. Okay. Whether money is being spent and good talent is being attracted and commercial viability. Ethanol, biofuels generally. Anything going on? Ethanol, total waste. Archer Daniel Midland, the, 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 the greatest lobbyist pork barrel company of all times, gold record winner. <clears throat> um, read a bunch of papers on ethanol, and the bottom line is, is that if you count the energy consumed to make a gallon of ethanol and convert it back to equivalent gallons of, of uh, gasoline, it takes somewhere between 1 and 1.3 gallons of gasoline equivalent energy to produce one gallon of ethanol. So at very best, it's a, it's a beard, a mask, a camouflage for burning gasoline anyway. Okay. The problem is, uh, now that, that can change, the problem is <clears throat> take corn or grapes for that matter. Um, part of the grape plant is cellulose, wood and leaves. Right. Part of the grape plant is sugar, sweet grapes. Did it with corn. Part of the corn is stalk and part is, is corn yes, kernels right. which have sugar in them. Well, we turn the sugar into into ethanol, which we can burn, but the whole rest of the plant is, is cellulose, which we then proceed to usually grind up, put in the ground where it emits, uh, emits methane, which is a very bad greenhouse gas. What's got to happen, it turns out, it, it's, it's kind of amazing in the chemistry, but uh, glucose, the, the, the molecule of sugar is a six atom ring, and if, if I just consider that as a ring, there's two OH or hydroxyl groups, half of a water molecule on glucose, one, one, one points, they're both point down. All right. And that's fermentable. <clears throat> cellulose is the exact same ring. Cellulose is made out of sugar, believe it or not. Right. And the only difference is one of the hydroxyl groups points up, one points down, and the thing polymerizes in a staircase function of sugars making cellulose. What we've got to learn how to do is we've got to learn how to take the sugar in the stock, break it apart and metabolize it and use all of the energy of the corn plant, not just the fruit of the corn plant. And if we can do that, that will be a breakthrough. Is anybody working on that in the valley? A bunch of people are working on that. There's, there's different ways to do it. One is you can have uh, exotic new chemical reactors which break apart uh, the stuff. It right. turns out we know very well in the animal world this happens. Termites eat wood. Uh, if you ate wood, you die because your body can't digest cellulose. Termites can eat wood and they can digest cellulose. Cows can eat grass because they got bacteria in their fourth stomach that can, can break apart cellulose and get energy out of it. So we have, we have, we got, I want to Bio, get through. Bioengineering is one and genetic engineering. Now, of course, uh, on the, this is where I have my, my uh, concerns about the conservative side of the spectrum, you know. God doesn't want us to bioengineer, but, but if we could, uh, we could change the gene structure of plants, we might be able to change the ratio uh, or the type of sugars in them to a great advantage. This is going to happen, but this is a 20-year kind of this thing. This is more pure research at the moment. There's nobody, nobody's got commercially viable work. That... Well, I know, I know a company right now that's got a chemical reactor that can turn uh, plant waste into something that's a cousin of natural gas. All right. 